Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, as we continue our series on common problems and uh, ideas or fixes for these problems that you can try, uh, we're going to actually concentrate a little bit on the Wi-Fi, the connectivity issues with wireless internet. One of the biggest problems of course is um, unreliable Wi-Fi or uh, you know, inability to connect to a network. There are all sorts of problems that can actually happen here. It's a complex issue uh, sometimes because it could be simply two chipsets. For example, the Wi-Fi card in your laptop and the router that don't speak to each other very well. And when that happens, unfortunately, there's not a lot you can do except change the devices. So uh, that is a possibility. And I've seen many times uh, over the years as a tech guy that there were some devices that didn't connect well together. But if that's not the problem, if your problem is somewhere else, uh, we'll have several videos here explaining different things you can do. So each video will have a different aspect. The first one is checking out how crowded the um, Wi-Fi signals and channels are around you. Because Wi-Fi is actually uh, something that is wireless. It's radio signals that are being sent from a router to your PC, from the PC to your router. And your neighbors are also using Wi-Fi devices. So if you live in a big city or in a crowded neighborhood, you might have so many Wi-Fi signals that it actually might be causing problems. If you notice that when you start getting away from your router, moving away, it degrades very rapidly. That's one thing that could be happening. Maybe one of your neighbors is on the same channel as you are. Because yes, there are channels on Wi-Fi. So how do you check that? Well, on Windows 10, the first thing that you can do, and by the way, you can check that out also on a mobile device. These tools exist on Android and iPhones. So you can actually check it out with your phones also. Um, there's a tool called a, tool called a Wi-Fi Analyzer in the uh, Microsoft Store. And as you see here, it's by Matt Hafner. And this is a free tool that is really, really nice because once you download and install this, you will have visibility of your Wi-Fi um, signal and a neighbor's Wi-Fi. So if you analyze the signals, you'll see all the different signals around you. It's going to actually analyze all the signals around you and give you a possibility uh, of suggestion for what channel you should use. So here is 2.4 uh, gigahertz, giving you an idea with these bumps of strong signals coming in on 11, 6, and 1. You see that all the routers around me are seem to be concentrated around there. So when you actually connect, so I'm going to actually disconnect from my 5 gigahertz, gigahertz and connect on 2.4. By connecting on 2.4, it's going to actually uh, give me a recommendation because once you're connected to the Wi-Fi network, it actually will give you a recommendation. Now I'm connected. So by uh, doing this, I will just ask the app to reanalyze the situation here. Um, so let's just, I believe, we're going to restart it and see what it does on 2.4. So it's going to give you a recommendation. It's going to tell you, well, you should be using that channel. Uh, and as for changing channel, of course, I will uh, actually explain a little bit more on what this is all about. So on 2.4, once you are connected, it recommends you a channel. So here you see that my channel, my connection is here. But move around your home with your laptop. Go in the kitchen, go in the bedroom, go where it's problematic. And check out what recommendation. It will give you a recommendation that changes depending on where you are because Depending on what room you are, you might not have the same interference from the neighbors. So you can check that out. And of course, you can switch to the 5 gigahertz and ask for the same connectivity. I connect always on 5 gigahertz. And by the way, if you do have a 5 gigahertz connection and capability, I strongly recommend that that's where you connect yourself because the uh, 5 gigahertz range as uh, on, on, in general a much better performance but one bad thing about 5 gigahertz is range sometimes the range isn't as good as the 2.4 when it's well chosen 
So depending on how you use it, you might want to be, uh, I'm, I'm on five almost all the time. It might happen I go on two gigahertz for, uh, you know, when I really want to go further away and still have connectivity. So these little bumps actually tell you recommendations of what channel you should be using and where you should be. And you can actually use these recommendations. And of course, in a separate video, I'll show you how to change the channel in your router and what it all means. And that will be uh, in a separate video. But I think the first thing you should check out is how crowded the Wi-Fi is around you. Uh, first recommendation, because it's one of the biggest uh, reasons why your Wi-Fi is crappy, especially when you move away from the router. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.